Hello, this is Keenan, and this is Lesson 21 Worksheet. For our first problem, we have 3x plus 4y plus 3x squared plus 4x squared. Here we want to combine the 3x squared and the 4x squared terms, which combine to give us 7x squared. We want the 7x squared to be in the front of the equation because it has the highest power, so we will write these other two terms after it to get 7x squared plus 3x plus 4y. For our, we're going to skip the second problem, and you can do it for practice. For the third problem, we have 3x times the quantity 4x plus 5. We want to distribute the 3x out to both terms, which gives us 3x times 4x plus 3x times 5. This will give us 12x squared plus 15x. We're also going to skip problem number four, and you can do that for practice. And we'll move on to problem number five. Here we have seven times the quantity four x plus nine plus eight x. We want to distribute the seven out to four x and to the nine. So we get seven times four x plus seven times nine plus eight x. Seven times four x is 28 x. Seven times nine is 20 is 63 and 8x is 8x. We'll combine the 28x and the 8x so we'll get 36x plus 63. Once again we're going to skip problem number 6 so you can do that for practice. And we'll move on to the next set of equations which is evaluating equations. For our first problem there's actually a little mistake. There should be parentheses around here and parentheses around here. So that gives us 5 plus 5 divided by 2 plus 2. 5 plus 5 is 10 and 2 plus 2 is 4. So that, that gives us 10 divided by 4. Because 10 divided by 4 is also equal to 5 times 2 which is 10 and 2 times 2 which is 4, we can cancel out these two 2's to give us 5 over 2 which is our answer. The second problem is 2 plus 3 squared minus 15. We'll do what's inside of the parentheses first. So 2 plus 3, which gives us 5. And we have to square that, minus 15. 5 squared is 5 times 5, which is 25. So we'll get 25 minus 15, which equals 10. So that is our answer. For the third set of problems, we have 12x times 12 divided by 3. Here we can write it as 12 times 3 times 4 because 12 is equal to 3 times 4 and all of that divided by 3. Once again we can cancel out the 3's which will just give us 12 times 4 which is equal to 48. The rest of the problems you can do on your own for practice. The final set of problems is the multiple choice section. For our first question we have, Patrick wants to purchase a jacuzzi to install in his house. If the jacuzzi is $5,000, the shipping fee is 10% of the jacuzzi price, the tax is 6% of the jacuzzi price, and the installation fee is $40, what is Patrick's total? In this case, we have $5,000 plus 10% of 5,000, which is 0.1 times 5,000. The tax is 6%, so 0 0.06 times 5,000. And the installation fee, which is $40. And we want to add these all together. So 0 0.1 times 5,000 is basically 5,000 divided by 10, which is 500. 0 0.06 times 5,000 is like 5,000 divided by 100 times 6, which is 300. So we're adding 5,000 plus 500 plus 300 plus 40. If we add those all together, we get 5,840, which gives us the final answer of B. The second problem is Ashley wants to see if she can drive back home in one day. Depending on the traffic, it usually takes 4 to 6 hours to arrive home. 
4 being no, 0% traffic, and 6 being all clogged with traffic, 100%. She needs to stop 2 times for 10 minute breaks. Assuming that traffic severity is 50%, how long would Ashley take to drive down? So in this problem, we have 4 at 0% and 6 at 100%. But in our case, we have a traffic severity of 50%, which is right in the middle. Right in the middle of 4 and 6 is 5. So it will take 5 hours to arrive home. However, she also stops 2 times for 10 minute breaks. So we'll add 5 hours plus 2 times 10 minutes which is 20 minutes. So our final answer is C, five hours and 20 minutes. There are two more multiple choice problems, but I'll leave them to do on your own.